Hello and welcome back to like today I'm ready to deliver more mail as usual and in the previous gameplay I've met uh, the lumberjack at Mole's diner looks like he's gonna need some help but he needs to fix I think the rooftop of the diner I don't remember I think so it's a wonderful day today And I have to go through several places all around the lake and as usual I have more stuff to deliver here at the main street and let's see six letters to deliver and three parcels okay so I have to deliver two parcels just behind me and then two letters here before moving away from this place from the street okay let's go to start the weekend or will it be a positive Tina Banks has the answer P.O. positive or pet peeve Jack I've had this pet peeve for years we've got a beautiful lake and a nice boulevard but <laughs> get out of the of way operated binoculars I like seriously the idea, Tina hmm. let's take a closer look at today's I think she a was bugged <laughs> that's all so let's deliver here a parcel at the and flick now, check Looks like the girl from here, which I don't remember the name, is going to talk for a little while with Meredith. And yes, it's this one. Let's go. NG. So, did things work out with the movie box? Yeah, yeah, it was fine. Is everything okay? You don't seem your usual peppy self. You don't know me, Meredith, okay? This can be a stressful job. Okay. I know a thing or two about stressful jobs. I'll leave you be. It's just... never mind. But in case you still want to help with the movie box, I have two more movies I'd like to see delivered. <sighs> Jaws and The Dirty Dozen. I didn't really want to do it, but... Yeah, I think I'm gonna help her, even though it's gonna be for free. <laughs> but okay, I can do that. Sure, I think I can do that. <laughs> Great. Thanks, Meredith. I'm on it. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it. Bye. Alright, one more task added to Saturday, that is today. Deliver movie box to Bert. Alright, and actually I have to do something on Sunday. Okay, it's the movie night with Laurie, the girl that works at the mechanic shop, you know, the, the car shop, I mean here at the service station yes <laughs> all right um <laughs> that's not my car i need to go back One hundred four. Oh, that's heavier than I thought. Small and heavy. <laughs> Looks like we are going to meet someone today for the first time. Nope, 
no answer. Or not, maybe I just right. should drop the package the here. Bun. It's actually under the door, so... Let's go back. Oh, actually, I can go through here. I think it's the one further away, so I need to really go back. I think it's through 109. Exactly, not 207. This one, alright. Right, I'm done around this place. Now I should go probably east. Now that I'm here. Uh, looks like... Oh, okay, Bert is the fisherman. I didn't remember his name. I think Robert is the lumberjack. I think so. I'm bad at remembering names okay i remember faces but names kind of harder for me i'm pretty good at remembering like codes numbers but names not easy oh oh is he there girl <laughs> ignore my driving skills or the lack of them <laughs> it's been weird today trying to control this van somehow probably just my hands Lakeview Boulevard He's on his boat, maybe ready for fishing. Mr. Mackey, I've got this movie box for you. Leave it on the porch of the cabin, could ya? I need to know if you prefer a war movie or a shark movie. <laughs> huh? Movies? Uh, just pick something, I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> All right, Jaws it is. Have a nice day. It's more appropriate for him, I think. Okay, she already left it there. <laughs> so, let's go back. Is 
it's very relaxing to be around this place, even if it's in game. I think I'm gonna take a photo. The art of the game is a little cartoonish, but it's made in an interesting way and I find it to be really pretty. It's like you're playing in a work of art. So I'm gonna go here and deliver a letter to campground. For the first time I'm gonna go there. So it's a little after the farm. It's through this dirt road. I remember Dad telling me, Meredith, the picnic area is for the older kids. I think I was 17 when I had my first actual picnic here. Oh, it's a letter, not a parcel. My bad. I think that's a violin or something. But I should mind my own business. Well, I could just park the van around here instead. <laughs> Very peaceful place to Hello camp, there. right? Hey, how are you? I may have mail for you. Is it addressed to Mickey or June? Or both? Uh, to both. Here you go. Sweet brother Damien, savior in the hour of darkness. Never mind him. He's a bit stressed out. We were a bit low on paper. Nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Meredith. Nice to meet you too. Woo! What kind of paper? Probably a bit of cash and some rolling paper. It's toilet paper, I believe. Ah, that kind of paper. <laughs> no harm in that. Amen, sister. Thanks for the delivery. You're welcome. So, are you guys on vacation? Sort of. Although, I guess you need a job for a vacation. Joan! Can you get in here, please? Now! Oh, there are jobless. It was nice meeting you, sweet Meredith. Can you, like, not tell the authorities your whole life story? I'm not the authority, but... That's okay. A letter here. It's far away. But I like to go far away from the place I'm used to go around. So I can see new things. And it's been amazing to travel around this place anyway. And turn left. Another dirt path. Oh, okay, it's in there. Oops. <laughs> it's kind of hidden. Oh, a wooden cabin. So peaceful in here. Doesn't have a mailbox. Or did I miss it in the beginning? In the entrance, exactly, I did. The 
van is faster than my feet. This is not running well. I should not be allowed to drive like at all. Don't worry, in real life I cannot drive so no danger in the road. At least not the danger I'm responsible for. <laughs> I've been here like three times now, right? Something like that. Um, hang on. <laughs> I've turned too early. Silly me. And we meet again, Robert. Hi, Robert. Here's the mail. Thanks, Meredith. And uh, sorry for leaving all of a sudden yesterday. I'm gonna ask him this. Yeah, what was that all about? Well, it was just... I needed some space. I think I've gotten a bit too used to being on my own. I know what you mean. Cool. Thanks. I just don't want you to feel weird about it. I was the weirdo. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a little weirdness. I just wanted you to know that. Anyways, let's see what's in the mail. A dentist appointment. Wait, why am I sharing that with you? So, no news regarding those apartments? Nothing. Hallelujah. This gives me a bit more peace of mind to work on my wildcard plan. Wildcard plan? Wildcard plan. Yes. Also, highly confidential. Okay. Good luck with that. Thanks. Not gonna mind his business. I think she asks too many questions to people. Sometimes they are just not up to share their life stuff. I don't like when people start asking me certain questions, like mostly questions, and I'm stuck. <laughs> really, Jester, this is not a hammer. Oh, um, excuse me. I don't know how to drive. Well, at least I'm conscious about it. Okay. And the last parcel here. What on earth did these folks order? Nothing you shall know. Lady. Nope. No 
answer. And another right, package on dropped. To the next one. At least I don't have to speak with anyone else today, right? And last but not least, a letter. That's the last of them. And now let's go back to the post office to end the day. Okay. teleported me to when I was like six years old and fell out of a tree and I ended up with all this lilac smelling tree gunk all over my face you remember that right what if it's like that with old phone numbers you go must dial M and then your brain just triggers your fingers to dial man anyway I uh, didn't call about that obviously I was thinking of maybe taking a stroll around the lake this Sunday clear my head and then Maureen suggested maybe you'd like to tag along not that I'm asking because of Maureen, of course. Just thought it might be fun to check out the old hangouts and the lake sites and all. If you do want to join, I'll be at the watchtower overlooking the lake at 11 a.m. Sunday. I'll probably hang around a bit, so I'll see you when I see you. Sunday morning watchtower. Be there or be square. Okay, let's meet her. Uh, so I have in to go in the afternoon to watch the movies with the other girl and in the morning I'm gonna meet Kay. Okay, it's gonna be a busy day. That's fine. In reality, probably I would say no, the but... The <laughs> and the Carpenter. Chapter 2. Cecilia hated old Mr. Nabenshu's table manners. The way he slurped rhubarb into his digestive system was quite the dampener on Cecilia's appetite. She wanted to get out of here and drink and dance with the common folk. Every night, she heard their merry noises travel through her bedroom window. The sounds of real life. So she kept reading the book that she was reading in the previous part of this gameplay. Likely Steve is going to color again soon. He's a bit annoying. Probably just making sure she's working on that thing. Should I just come up? Come on up! You just have to watch your step on the third leg. Should be good. Yes, I need to understand that. I don't want to fall down. I have to what? On, on the what now? It's fine. Cross my heart and hope to die. Scout's honor. Hope I don't die climbing this tower. <laughs> That was fast. Hi there. Good to see you. <laughs> so glad you made it. Isn't it nice up here? <sighs> Brings back memories, doesn't it? Any memory in particular you're thinking of? 
Those times I came up here by myself at night when the stars were out, so serene. Yeah, I've had many of those nights too. Still have them, in fact. Hey, remember when I snuck in those beers from Uncle Stan? And they were really disgusting, and you puked all over the rail? In fact, <laughs> wasn't it kind of where you're standing right now? Oh my gosh, it totally was. Ew, ugh. Did you have to bring that up again? I was not counting on getting that much in touch with my younger self. <laughs> I'm glad you're back. I kind of missed having you around. I feel the same way. So, what's life been like for you since you left? Positives? Negatives? You know, I went to university, got a job. On the whole, it's been really good. And the company I work for has a major break coming up, so that's interesting. Oh, that sounds great. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. It certainly is something to think about. I can imagine Providence Oak seems boring by comparison. Well, maybe it is, and maybe it isn't. Ooh, that sounds juicy. Is this about something or someone? That's for me to know and me to find out. Oh, there she goes with the crazy eyes. M still stands for mind your own beeswax, I see. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm backing off. What about you? How have you been? I mean, really? Really, really? It's been great and it's been tough. You know, I guess it's like that for everyone. I mean, I wanted to go to art school, yes, but turns out I wasn't good enough, or at least that's what they told me when I applied. So I decided to stay and do my own thing, make music, perform and stuff, you know. I picked up some shifts at the diner, Barry and I reconnected, got married, and then Max came along. You haven't met him yet, have you? He turns 13 in a few months. Time flies. Anyway, having Max gave things a different rhythm, but... I still continued with my music. Even managed to get a bit of a buzz going in Portland. Lined up a few interesting gigs. Tough to balance, but fun. Sounds like you were ready to leave Pio at that point. Yeah, just like that, Uncle Stan got sick. Hit him and Aunt Mo like a ton of bricks. It was crushing. There I was, just about to get somewhere with my music. But I just couldn't let them down, so I stayed. Helped out nursing Uncle Stan, picked up his shifts at the diner. Sounds like you really stepped up. Well, in hindsight, it was a lot. In the moment, though, you don't stop to think. You just do it. Where was Barry in all this? Barry was actually really great. He divided tasks back at the house, and he took care of Uncle Stan when he could. No questions asked. He was just there. That's great. Do you ever feel stuck? Well, Mo has offered a couple of times to put my name above the door at the diner. Up until now, it felt like too much. Too soon. Too definitive. But I don't know. Maybe if she asks again, I'll think about it. The way things ended up, it may not have been part of my master plan. But I got to spend some of the most precious moments of my life with the most precious people I know. Got to say goodbye to Uncle Stan and be there for Mo. He basically raised me. I'm grateful I got to do that for them. And I built a family of my own, right here in good old P.O. And one day, those kids will hurl all over this rail, just like we did. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, it's been tough, but looking back, I wouldn't trade any of it for the world. Oh, that's so great, Kay. I'm glad at least one of us grew up to be a well-rounded individual. Is there a manual I can borrow? Well, after you left, I had to raise myself, didn't I? 
So, ready to descend to the world below? Don't jump off. Yeah. Seems like it's time. Come on then. What a long and interesting conversation with Kay. Hello? You are speaking to Monster Deal Central. Oh, him How again. can I help you? Hey, Steve. You're in a good mood? Meredith, please tell me to calm down. We are so close to a deal. At it 87. In shops all across America. M -m 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 monster deal. Calm down, Steve. Okay. Right. <laughs> I met up with this big retailer, right? They read our great pitch. They loved it and they want to buy 250,000 copies cow. of Added 87. 250,000. Multiply that by like 35 bucks. Let's be realistic here. <sighs> That's a lot. But it's not a done deal yet, right? Not yet, but oh, oh so close. I can almost taste it. Listen, I've got the contract right here. I'm sending over a copy. You should have it tomorrow. Please, please check, check, double check, check it right away. I want your blessings before I sign on the dotted line, okay? Gotcha, Steve. Don't worry about it. Awesome. I'll be in touch again Tuesday evening. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. It's official. Oh, she's watching already movies with her. So it's already Sunday. <laughs> I was supposed to already end the video, but that's fine. I love horror movies. A Nightmare on Elm Street is radical. It was amazing. Thank you for watching with me, Miss W. You're welcome. I'm never going to sleep again. Ha! Huh, maybe you shouldn't have watched the movie. Man, I wish my parents would let me watch these movies. I can't wait until I move out. Yeah, oh well. I hope you had fun. Yeah, I did. Maybe it's about time I convince my parents that I'm old enough. I'm almost an adult, and I don't want to wait until I've moved out until I can watch another horror movie. Don't worry. We can always do this again sometime. Yeah, I had fun. I hope you did too. For sure. Maybe we can visit Angie's store and find a new movie to watch. Oh, uh, yeah, totally. Good night, Miss W. Alright, so the weekend is over. Oh, Steve's parcel. And another note from Tess. Hey Em, here are Steve's contracts. I bet you're in the mood for some light reading. And now without sarcasm, really. I must admit the energy here is contagious. Is Adit actually going to take off? See you soon. Tess. Good morning, Miss Weiss. Uh, good morning, sir. <laughs> I didn't see you there. The name's Walter Morgan. I'm with the Postal Service. I left you a message on your answering machine earlier this week. Oh, about something. Yes, something serious. Ah, uh, yes, I remember. Miss Weiss, if you could follow me into the office. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Are you familiar with the Postal Service policies? Not really, but, um... <clears throat> um... Yes, well, the gist of it... Can you remember the segment from Chapter 11, Holy Section cow. 3, First Paragraph? I should have said no. I'm sorry, that part seems to have slipped my mind. It says in Chapter 11, Section 3, First Paragraph, and I'll paraphrase, it is forbidden to use Postal Service property for personal gain. Um, yes, well, I'm replacing our father in his job, all right, while he's, like, on vacation. Uh, but, you know, doing his job without knowing the the rules, the laws behind it, it's kind of bad. 
Oh. Okay. Sounds reasonable. Miss Weiss, I'm aware that you've only just begun working here. But I trust that you do not take the responsibilities of a postal worker lightly. Uh. <laughs> if you look up the definition of integrity, it has my picture next to it. The Postal Service puts its employees under the highest level of scrutiny. I advise you to answer the following three questions truthfully. A yes or no will suffice. Do you know Frank Coleman? Yes. Have you ever given him envelopes or received envelopes from him that weren't postmarked? Yes. Are you aware that Frank Coleman wages bets on baseball games? No. <laughs> that will be all. Thank you for your cooperation. I'm not gonna ask. You're welcome. Alright, I'm gonna keep playing through Monday in the next gameplay. This is really long. So thank you so much for watching and really I can't wait to know what's gonna happen to Frank but I did not want to ask this man that I barely know. Alright, so let's see later what's gonna happen. Goodbye and have a great day.